Good morning guys, welcome back or to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be driving the car, the 300 here. Um, what we're gonna do, yes, we're driving the car, but um, what we're gonna do is, I've actually got a bunch of stuff in the back back here in my flip flops because I don't like wearing shoes with the new floor mats, but I've got some stuff here. We're gonna go show a lady um, who runs a horse camp. So with that being said, this is gonna be a pretty good trip. Um, and what I'm gonna do is, someone don't wanna be on camera, uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset my trip fuel mileage here uh, when we get on the highway. And we're gonna see what kind of fuel mileage this car will get on the same trip kind of that we've done before. Um, so the best this car has ever gotten was around uh, Christmas uh last year we got 23 i think it's 23 to 23 3 somewhere in there on that same trip now it was only 30 degrees outside and as you can see it is now 68 um so we're gonna be running the air conditioner and that kind of thing but like i said we're gonna reset this and see what kind of fuel mileage is gonna get on the way up there with the new cold air inductions cold air intake all right so it is actually a few days later so the other day when we got home i was going to film but it was getting kind of late and uh had some other stuff i needed to do and whatnot i uh, did some filming for the second channel um if you missed that in the last video i will leave a link to that down below in the description uh, but what we did is we took the car up talked to a lady that my grandpa's girlfriend actually works for kind of um she does a bunch of cleaning and stuff for the, these folks that I went and talked to about doing some laser engraving uh, decals, some sublimation stuff and uh, whatnot. But um, we went to her house and this and then took her Xterra and then went from there. But this car did amazing. So I filled it up here in Greenbrier and then once we got away from the city got actually on the highway set the cruise i reset the uh, fuel mileage meter uh, in the dash of the car uh, and i'll actually put a clip here on the screen as you can kind of see fuel mileage now i am amazed to say the least now I don't know if all the fuel mileage came from the intake, uh, but I mean, that's that's impressive. Uh, two people riding in the car, air conditioner on, uh, and again, doing 60 down the road, which is the speed limit through there um, in most places. And then obviously backed it to 55 when I had to, but um, I think when I got off of the highway, it was at 27 or 26 and a half somewhere in there miles per gallon which was amazing now again especially for a 57 hemi chrysler 300 and i think this weight thing weighs like 4400 pounds um dry weight which is it's a heavy car so it's amazing that it would do so good now i mean like i said let's get in set the cruise and just cruise on out um and that's also up and down hills so you know you probably get a little gain going downhill uh but it's probably negligible because as soon as you go downhill you go right back up one um if that makes sense so like i said very very impressed with that on the car um now like i said i don't i don't want to say all of that came from the colder intake um because we did but as i was saying i don't want to attribute all of that to the colder intake now i do think it definitely had something to do with it obviously because you think um like i said around december around christmas we went the same trip and the best the very best was uh like i said 23 2 23 3 somewhere in there 
Um, and since then, we've changed the thermostat, a little bit cooler of a thermostat. I uh, put a 180 thermostat in the car. Now, I don't imagine that did a whole lot for fuel mileage. And then uh, the only other thing we've done was we aired up the tires. Because um, when we put this new tire on, we checked the other ones, and they were all at like 15, 14. There was one that was at, uh, I think, 19. Um, so we aired those up to where they're supposed to be. Now, I would say that probably helped a little bit, but not all of it if that makes sense. Now, <clears throat> in this car, it seems a little out there that it might have picked up that much, but you think on the car, on those cars in particular, they have a typical air box set up and then behind the bumper, and I'll actually show you because we deleted it. There's a lot of room now, <laughs> but behind the bumper, these cars actually have a big silencer box for the intake in which we deleted so it doesn't have that anymore uh, you can see here where the tire has rubbed through the fender liner that it is gone and that is the fog light plug if anybody was curious but um like i said we deleted that big box and again that is like a silencer um from what everybody said I mean, it's a huge thing all behind here. So you think air has to go from around the wheel and, you know, kind of this way and then up through the silencer into the intake box, hard 90, and then hard 90 again into the engine. Whereas the, I think this is unlocked. Yep. So whereas the cold air induction system pulls from the hole that was there already but it doesn't have to run all through the silencer box and everything else so it can kind of come through here you know between the headlight and through here and then that hole down there in the bottom which you probably can't see but there's a hole in the sheet metal directly under the filter that it can pull from and then this is a bit of a sealed unit kind of a more gradual flow it's easier for the car to breathe if that makes sense now this is all this is all dirty from the memphis trip uh, but like i said everything's more gradual there's no hard 90s uh, in anything uh, or stuff like that you have more surface in the filter to pull air from um, such stuff as that so like i said i figure the intake made a great deal of difference like i said i don't know if it made all of it uh, because these tires were just about flat apparently uh, when we made that last trip um, we also did the, the thermostat Again, which people say helps fuel mileage. I don't know. Uh, mine was leaking. I had to change a uh, thermostat anyway. So I went ahead and got a 180 uh, since that's like an upgrade for these cars. But like I said, I mean, car did great. Um, I was amazed to say the least. Getting, again, 27 miles a gallon in a Hemi V8 car, uh, I would say was pretty amazing now this car is factory gear you know all that stuff it's not tuned i would like to tune it at some point i think um but i want to leave it on 87 because it's cheap cheap to operate and i'm not going for max power in this car anyway uh if we're being completely honest so anyway guys i just thought i'd make this video i thought it was interesting um I mean, if I didn't find it interesting, I wouldn't have made the video. But uh, I've been talking about wanting to do this and see. Because, again, I feel like in town, I felt like the car got better fuel mileage. And on paper, it does. Uh, but you could really see the difference out on the highway. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to be a wrap for this one. So with that being said, 
if y'all want to get yourself a colder inductions intake for your Chrysler 300, I will leave a link down below as well as a discount code that I believe when this video goes up will still be active. But anyway, guys, like I said, that's going to be a wrap for this one. So if y'all enjoyed today's video or found it helpful, please drop a like and comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope everybody has a great day.